Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to the vlog. I have to admit I've been kind of a slacker when it comes to ballet class just because I've been getting used to a new schedule. I've obviously not been taking class based on that clip just now falling out of a simple retiree balance. But I digress. A new school year often means a new schedule for me as I do work with the school schedule because most of my clients, surprise, are students. <laughs> so that means that they're only available in the evening time after school. So my evenings have been very busy, but my mornings I have had more time. That being said, my mornings I have been working on some other exciting things, which I hope I can update you guys with in the next two months when I hear back. And because that has been taking up so much of my free time, I haven't been able to do a regular ballet class or vlog that much so I apologize for that because you guys know I love vlogging and you guys know I love sharing what I'm up to what I'm doing what I'm eating what I'm going to with you guys I genuinely feel like I'm hanging out with you now this weekend I started the secret lives of Mormon wives it was so good I also worked in the city this weekend it was so fun to go down when to I the got city. back home I picked up some lunch to go and I went for a walk with Elsa the weather has been beautiful lately we got kind of a short burst of actual fall where it was like down to three degrees honestly where we were at least when we went to the two islands weekend but lately it's been like 25 degrees 30 degrees some days it's going down a little bit so i think this day it was closer to 20 and then it rained so so much hi guys welcome or welcome back to the vlog and i'm sorry i have picked up the camera in a hot minute but had a really busy schedule and yesterday i taught from nine and i didn't get home until like six o'clock so i just binge watched the secret lives of mormon wives last night and I did not clean the house like I intended to, so that's the plan for today. My mom's also coming up, so I'll have to make sure I'm not late to meet her, and I'm gonna wash this off. <laughs> but I thought I would also take you along my makeup routine as of late, because I just got some new products, and I want to experiment a little bit with them. So I guess it's not really my makeup routine if I'm experimenting, but I can show you at least the rest of it. Go. Yeah. I definitely got some soap in my eye. It's okay. In the mornings, I don't like to put too much on my face just because I feel like, I don't know, my face gets greasy and oily. So I just put a serum on and moisturizer and I'm using the Laneige serum. Steve was also away at a bachelor party last night. Hence the reason I just binge the secret lives of Mormon wives. It was so good. Oh my gosh, I love Taylor Frankie Paul. She's so real and I also really love, my other favorite characters are Jessie and, oh, I'm forgetting her name for a second, Demi. Those are my favorite girls in the show for sure. Could say my least favorite too, but I'm not going to because I don't want to remember some of the things that happened in that show. But anyways, I'm going to let that set in a little bit and then I'm gonna make the bed and catch you guys in a bit when I do my makeup. All right, so I'm going to continue with my makeup routine and kind of take you guys along what I've been doing lately. So I'm using the Neige, I think it's the water bank moisturizer i've almost used all of it and i got it at winners in like a box set i was so happy to see that they had good moisturizer at winners because i feel like sometimes it's a hit and a miss and it's never there when i actually need it so the last time i went i literally just stocked up on a couple of them like i stocked up on this one i got one of these and then i also got um the biosats one because i was like you know what Last time I came here, there was literally no moisturizers, nor were there any facial washes. So I just bought like three. I forget what the other one was, but I also got some Korean skincare facial washes. So I'll just let that soak in a little bit while I curl my lashes. And like I mentioned in the last vlog, I did get some PR and I've been using that eyeshadow palette lately. I just love the colors and the neutrals that it comes with. It's so pretty, so fall and autumnal. So it's perfect for this kind of weather. Last night, it was pouring rain. It was kind of scary, honestly. It was like a lot of rain and I was home alone and I didn't expect it to be that much rain. Um, and the pets were definitely afraid. Actually, that's a lie. Elsa did not care, but Luna on the other hand hates the rain. So she was not happy with the rain and the thunder. She growls at thunder and she hides underneath the bed <laughs> poor little thing i'm going to apply the oh this is not the one i wanted i wanted the tinted one because i'm very pale now that i haven't been outside a lot <laughs> i'm gonna use the tinted one serum from typology put that closer to my under eyes there we go and i know i have this breakout right here so i've been using this tinted serum and just putting a dot on top of it and then letting it kind of like soak in and then i'll blend it in a little bit so 
and just blend this under the eyes super like roughly and then I go in with a beauty blender and blend it a little bit better with some blush. I like kind of blending the two colors together as well, like the blush and the serum, just because I find the serum can be a little bit too bright and I want it to look natural. Plus, I think the formulas really complement one another. It's kind of funny because they're different uh, brands, but they kind of complement each other nicely. I also need to tend to my eyebrows. They're looking a bit scary today, but that's okay. I'll do that. Too. I don't like to do that during the day because whenever I pluck my eyebrows, they always get so red and I like to do that at nighttime when I know I'm not gonna see anybody <laughs> rather than during the day. And like I mentioned, my mom's coming up, so I'll just do some makeup super quick and then edit this vlog to put it out and then get ready to go and see her. And I should clean up the house as well because I know I always say that, but it truly is a mess. Like, do you see how those formulas just complement one another and they're nice and glowy? Like they're so glowy. I love it. I absolutely love it. I pranked my friend Amber last night. The last time she watched Elsa and Luna when I was away, she put this like scary doll in her house and I didn't notice it for a few weeks because I literally didn't go in that room for that long, like during the day at least. I only went in at night because I was working evenings until late. And then I got her back because I got a Michael Myers mask and I put it in her fridge. I think she thought it was funny though because she Snapchatted me saying it was hilarious. So I anticipate she's gonna try to get me back. <laughs> I'd be surprised if she doesn't, but I'm a scaredy cat. So now I'm gonna be living on eggshells a little bit, but it's kind of fun. The reason I did that was because she was away, so I was watching her dogs. I drove over to her house, let her dogs out, etc. All right, let's do, you know what? Last time I did my eyebrows and then I did the eyeshadow, so I'm gonna reverse that. And I left the eyeshadow in the other room, so I'll be right back. And like I showed you in the last vlog, they also sent, and Urban Decay is they, <laughs> the eyeshadow primer. So I'm going to apply that now before I do the eyeshadow. And I haven't been doing too much really. It's kind of like every other day kind of thing because I just like the natural look. So sometimes I just do like a sparkly eyelid. Sometimes I do nothing. Um, and some days I do like a smoky. It just depends on the day. So yeah, it's not very consistent. I will say it's basically, I do how I feel and what I feel like doing. <laughs> like the other day when I went into class, my hair was so greasy. So I did like a cute, hairstyle where I braided the front pieces and then did these little pigtails but with like half my hair and it pulled my skin like really tight. You know like my eyes looked really snatched and my face looked really snatched and I was like it would be a miss. Is that the right word? It would be silly of me not to do like a bold eye look in this because my eyes looked snatched. So anyways, I did like a smoky eye kind of there. There we go. And I love this palette guys. So cool. I love like the velvety finish on it as well. And I'm going to use, there's a lot of colors I haven't used yet, but I'm going to use these two end colors here first. And then I'm going to put some shimmery stuff on top. Oops. I'm going to use this color on top. I like my eyes to look brightening, you know what I mean? Versus like deep during the day. I would go for a smoky eye look if it was like an evening look, but when it's like... I'm going to go shopping with my mom or I'm going to meet her for lunch. I want something brightening and, you know, carefree looking versus like dark and like sultry. Do you know what I mean? Okay, I just covered that. I'm going to add the second color, Sin. I also did my nails last night and I already kind of messed them up because, yeah, I ate a snack after doing them so they didn't dry completely. But I just love this color and the color is from Essie and it's like this red pretty color. I love it. Okay, now my eyes are nice and bright. And I do like to add some shimmer with my finger. I'll use the color Sidecar. And like, look at how gorgeous that color is. So pretty. And I just plop it on my eyelid like that. There we go. I just love a shimmery eye during the day. How pretty is that? Once again, the pigment is so gorgeous. And I like using my finger when it comes to sparkles because I can really like press it in. I wouldn't mind also doing a video on my makeup routine when I was a professional dancer because I feel like that kind of tutorial is something people would use for shows because show makeup is incredibly different than like every day. You don't really want glowy makeup. You want like contour. You want something that's going to make your face stand out on stage versus like just accentuate certain features or make your face look like, I don't know, soft, right? So let me know if you'd like to see that because I did show makeup for a very long time and I wouldn't mind doing that again, that was fun. Okay, I'm going to do my eyebrows now. I love this Urban Decay big bush brow set. <laughs> it always looks kind of wild without mascara. I don't know, it's because it's so many light colors on my face, especially with the blush. I just feel like 
my face needs the mascara to kind of differentiate and define my eyes because my hair is so fine and so light that I need that definition. I truly do. Same as my eyebrows. Part of me wants to dye my hair and then I'm like, okay, I gotta dye my eyebrows too then. But would I look crazy with super dark eyebrows? You know, I'm never gonna be one that will bleach her eyebrows. Uh, it could never be me. I love the look on some people and I think it's slay and I think it's bold and I think it's courageous and brave, but it's not for me. Finding my mascara is proving to be difficult in this little bag of makeup. There we go. It's because I got the mini Too Faced mascara hidden in there. And then once my mascara is on, that's pretty much the end look. I don't really do too much with my like lips. I don't put lipstick on, but I might today just because why not? It's Sunday. Do a fun cute. I didn't even use any autumnal colors really. I guess this kind of bronzy, what, are they, what even is this? It's like a warm, sparkly, bronze, creamy tone with a hint of like, I don't even know, like purple. It's got a hint of purple. It's kind of cooler toned. I didn't really use many autumnal colors like I normally would during this time of the year. I'd usually, usually use more oranges and bronzy colors. This is what I was feeling today. Use the mascara. Again, I don't do too much, especially cause it's Sunday and the only place I'm going is like probably a bakery or something, but I do like to experiment. And that's the fun of makeup, you know, experimenting with different things. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. More often for me, it doesn't. I'll do a look and I'll be like, ooh, that's really heavy. Or ooh, I should have done more with this, you know? Part of me wants to put on glittery eyeliner too, but I'm running late. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I think that's good for today. Maybe a little bit of lipstick. What do we think, guys? Maybe even just like gloss or something. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with like a pink. That'll bring some more warmth. It's like a Barbie pink, so I might mix it <laughs> with like a red or something to make it a little bit less stark. And this red's very red. We don't need a lot. There you go. Actually, I really like that. That brings some more to my face. I think that's all I'm gonna do when it comes to my makeup. I might even curl my hair today. I'm feeling inspired. <laughs> that is that. I'm going to close out the vlog. I'm also going to spray this with setting spray in a second. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe, happy dancing, and until next time, bye now.